today is a very exciting day because we're going up to Bokor Mountain. There is something in there. In the twilight zone. <laughs> My mother passed away when I was little, so the $2,000 a night. You can't scare me. Check it out. How was your sleeping experience in the Bokor Palace? Kind of freaky, honestly. And then all the lights, for some reason, just like turned on. Hey guys, what's up? So, finally made it to Camp Pot. And today, it's a very exciting day because we're going up to Bokor Mountain and spending a night in one of the coolest historical buildings here in Cambodia. Uh, the hotel is called Bokor Palace Hotel and I actually filmed a vlog there for my YouTube channel last year. We went there with Mai. And uh, to be honest, when I got there, I felt really positive vibes it was like really nice energy and relaxing and i honestly i just after leaving that hotel i wanted to spend a night there it was extremely expensive though so it took some time of thinking um when i brought it up to my she was extremely excited for it she was all on board and for me i don't feel like i want to go back there again it's just feel weird and I don't understand why Patrick still won't go back there. And um, I couldn't ask for a better team, honestly. Um. But my mom, she wanted to go too. I was really excited when Pat mentioned that he wanted to go back up to Bokor. I was thinking yes, because I've always wanted to be back up there. It's been basically 20 years since I've gone up to Bokor. Uh, it was a shell. And if you know the history, I'm a historian and a writer. This is the chance of a lifetime to go spend a night. I've spent some good money going on um, haunted history tours and this is one of the top five destinations in Cambodia to be going to for um, haunted happenings. I swear there is something in there. You know? I love that place but I just feel weird. Uh, yeah, so after we eat breakfast we're just going to go and uh buy a couple things and then venture up to Bokor Mountain guys and it's gonna be a nice uh, getaway for the family I think the family really needs it and um, yeah check in first even though we're kind of early and then kind of drive around and explore a little bit
Okay, let's go check in. There's a big place over there too that might have been. Early take it out here, jump top. Ah, chung it out there. Not that by itself. Picture this, a newlywed couple, his mother and youngest brother, venture up to a small town on Bokor Mountain in Cambodia. Why? You spend a night in a hotel. An ordinary trip, some would think. But this is no ordinary hotel. Bokor Palace, built in the turn of the 20th century, has seen its fair share of dark times. From housing the French elites, in a slaughterhouse with Khmer Rouge. If the walls could talk, they would tell tales that even Stephen King couldn't come up on his best day. The evil presence inside would be too much for even Satan to stomach. Sit back, relax, and watch as his family spends a night in the twilight zone. Very muddy in here. Quite the house. Oh, there's another house over there. Hey! 
can't scare me. Because it's too wet. I call it. <laughs> Holy crap. See the bridge. Looks like all the bridge yeah, right there. Bridge, yeah. yeah. And Madame, our hotel is they go like a little style. Yes. When the brands are good. Give me those. Mm -hmm. for, 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 Hôm nay, tại sao dùng bốc tam ở booking.com mà dùng ta bay rồi chiều Yes, now there has to be this I can feel the AC I guess we don't really need it Oh, it's got a little candle Spelled your name wrong And they put Mrs. Marlati. Mrs. Mar Mary Marlati. Marlati. Let's see, do these lights flicker like the other one? Um, very nice. These beds are very comfy too. Yeah. Here last year and visited. Mm, very comfy, right? Mm -hmm. Are they goose feather? Two point. Yeah, let's see the bathroom. Everything will be eight tonight, so Sayers <laughs> Sayers will spiel their Daniel. A nice shower. Love the water heater.
Okay, guys, just took a shower. It's a very nice bathroom. And uh, just gonna go out and check out the back real quick. There's lots of people, though. Let's see, there's lots of people over here. so important it's history um, my father my mother passed away when I was little so my father would tell me stories of his history all the time he'd say this happened here these people lived here and so I was always asking questions and then I read books all the time yeah, the time very good so. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Wow, this is this very nice. Have a little one room for our hotel. This one, uh, 1,900 a night, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see it online. Wow. I can turn on the light there. That's kind of like what you have, Mom. Yep. Wow, that's cool. And uh, wow, this is very nice. Hi, Kim Coin Tank, Krong Top Nang, we are Tokam, a Sun Jet, Mopi Cassette Nang, we are beautiful view. Hi, a churning, a big gate and song, but Top Nang, don't turn die, like the original. So this is the uh, Tan Sua Suite. This is the most expensive room here in the hotel. And it's about $2,000 a night for this hotel. Um, it's beautiful though, you know, the, they got the, the living room, the guest room, the bedroom. We have the uh, little office area, beautiful bathroom, very beautiful. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go eat some dinner. And actually, my mom and mom are already at the dinner area, so let's eat some dinner. And then maybe watch the rest of the sunset and then maybe go into the jacuzzi because the hotel actually has a jacuzzi too. Is there any food you recognize or is it all? I know I recognize. Right. 
Spain. Mm. It's good coffee, everyone. Now that we've had this uh, delicious dinner, we are going to adventure into the jacuzzi. Uh, the cool thing about this jacuzzi is it's uh, surrounded by fog and other mysterious natural. I'm sorry, the wine's getting to me. <laughs> What's up guys, I swear. I don't wanna wake up anyone right now, it's kinda of late, but I'm not even lying. I was just like editing this video, this vlog, and then all the lights for some reason just like turned on. And then the fan turned off and then I tried like switching on and off the lights. Um, and like for me, like I'm not a superstitious person, so I just figured it's like a wiring problem but they wouldn't turn on or off. They, all the lights just turned on and the, and the fan turned off. And I was like playing. Go back to sleep, bro. It's midnight. It, it, it's midnight. But anyways, sorry, Dion, I didn't mean to wake you up. But um, yeah, weird. I wish I got that on camera. Anyways, guys, if anything weird happens more, Make sure to film, okay?
was your sleeping experience in the Bocor Palace? Kind of freaky, honestly. At night, at night, I started hearing some whistling, and also my mom started, she said that she heard whistling too. It, we know it wasn't the wind because it was pretty close and it was pretty clear. You sure I wasn't just whistling in my sleep? No. No, you guys talked to your sleep. It was, it was, you guys were too close to us to have that. Yeah, my sister always talked in my sleep. Yeah, but they did too, unless she was answering. <laughs> yeah, no, we've talked back and forth to each other in our sleep. <laughs> we do it all the time. Hey. Hey. Hey, go f yourself. <laughs> Yeah, because mom was sleeping, that's why I was whispering. Mike's like, no. why are you whispering? I'm like, No, I didn't whispering. say anything. <laughs> because I know you were mother. No, I slept good. Okay, guys, but to be all honest, there were no haunting experiences okay. for us that night. Um, it was actually a great sleep, um, a wonderful experience. The, all the staff were great. Um, the one manager, I forgot um, what he is. I think he's like the manager or something. Here's a picture of me and him right here. And he was uh, really helpful this whole time. Very um, accompanying and he like helped my mom a lot with like the history of the hotel and stuff. But yeah, honestly I really enjoyed staying here and I will stay here again. Um, this is not the last time I'm going to stay, spend a night here. Anyways guys, I appreciate you guys watching this full length 30 minutes, 30 plus minute video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, obviously, the uh, the added in effects with the ghosts inside the peephole and stuff like that—that that was all fake. Anything um, that was had to do with like haunting was all fictionalized just for your viewing enjoyment. Um, but we are going to sadly go down the mountain and go back to Phnom Penh. Huh? Shop again. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that Kanye song. It's like. I'm gonna get copyright infringement. Oh, yeah, it's like... What if you like played it so well that it was a copy? It got copyright infringement on my YouTube. You getting like all your fingerprints on the piano? Yeah, leaving my mark. Freemake.com. You should go to Freemake.com. Welcome to Camp Hop Province. Ciao, Mama. darling. You Cool. Yeah, cool. Did you ever smell the way? Oh, no. 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 Oh
I didn't think of Kenya. And then we are up at this pagoda, at this wat um, on Bokor Mountain. The wat behind me is the original wat that was actually built by a queen. I'm not sure when and where. Don't worry, he's friendly. My, she's getting scared of a dog. And um, anyways, very nice and cool up here. Hey puppy, come here puppy, come here. Look at babe, oh yeah, good boy. Where, where's that? Where were you? There's five boats. One, two, three, four, five. These boats? It's the pagoda of the five boats. And the reason being is because of these rocks that look almost like boats. One boat, two, three, four, and then the fifth boat. Let's go up here. What's up here? Oh, I'm sensing a cliff. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Wow. Look at that.